E1 electric scooter from Amazon. This is a little different from the F8 that I had recently reviewed. So I'm gonna unbox this and hopefully try to assemble this live or on this recording and show you how easy it is to set up an electric scooter. This goes for like $329.99, which is similar to the F8. This, uh, I, I believe, is a newer model. And one of the main differences that I can tell you right away is that this one has a higher weight capacity. Whereas that one goes, uh, accommodates um, about up to 220 pounds. This one accommodates up to 265. And I'm so glad because I'm within that weight range. But I was able to go on the F8 just fine as well. So let's see here. So already looking at this, I can tell you this is going to be a lot easier to assemble and get ready for riding because as you can see, the handles are already attached. You just got to fold it up. It has this carrying pouch as well. I'll put this on the side. Okay, let's see. Ooh, fancy LEDs. So I thought the LEDs were pretty nice on the F8, but this one looks even more high tech with six lights in each pod, of, in this four pods. And you can see these really nice wheels here. And this one, unlike the F8, this one is actually front wheel drive. So it's gonna be more similar to the 9BOT ES2 and ES4 models. This is what it looks like folded up. And So I don't know if you caught this, but I just basically pushed the brakes down. I mean, up, down, and there you go, sorry. And then you can unlatch it right there. And I just fold these up, lock this in place. All right, so I, I swinged it open and you wanna make sure these are in here so that it's locked. But there's a kick, kick right here if you wanna quickly unlock it. Uh, charging port is right there, nice rubber seal. There's an arrow right there pointing to it. This deck is a standard uh, width deck and there are little ridges here to help you keep your grip. But there's also the sandpaper like material right here to help with grip as well. And you can see the really nice uh, wheel design in the back along with the manual braking with the light right on top so that people can easily see it. Right here you have a functional kickstand and it's very nice to hold it up. Of course you have the adjustable height uh, right here that you can, you can control and lock in place. And it also gives you a nice little hook right here to carry like small groceries or accessories or something like that. And obviously you have the front panel right here. Let me just flip this off. And the buttons are right here. Obviously, long press. You can see it's like a semi-colored LCD display. It's very easy to see. You have the speed button right here. And it cycles to a one, two, or three. So this will control your maximum speeds. So if you're a beginner, start with one. And if you wanna go faster, you can progressively go up to two or three. This is the headlight button. You can see the lights are on. It's really bright out right now, so it's hard to see. But the rear lights also blink. And if I step on the brakes, it stays on. So there's electronic braking as well. It's like a horn right here, okay? When you're ready to put these away, you just kind of push down on this little tab here and you can push these out and kind of fold them out of the way like that. You can do that on both sides. And again, 
unlike the nine bots and similar to the f8 once you press this thing wants to go and i can tell you right away that the acceleration on this despite it being front wheel drive is pretty aggressive and i'm only on speed number one right there if i went to three it would be even more aggressive there's lots of information trip information and mileage and stuff if you hit the set button so there's an odometer and everything so again like i was saying this has higher um, torque and acceleration compared to the nine bot and even the evercross f8 with a much higher weight capacity um, up to 265 pounds and it's a really comfortable and smooth ride these tires are super grippy so i'm not even worried about traction and obviously the kicks there okay Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing and quick assembly of the Evercross E1 model. It goes for $329.99 on Amazon. Check it out.